Hey guys, I think we are in for a boon, baby. And you might be like, what type of boon? And it is a influencer boon, which is the best type. So I saw that with uh, sports cards. Sports cards, everyone from Derek Jeter to Mark Cuban to Crypto Bros, they wanted a piece. They wanted a piece of that sweet, sweet sports card revenue. And you had e even individuals like uh, fanatics, entire companies, really invest into the sports card ecosystem. Which is good. That's definitely not a bad thing in my opinion. But um, now we are fast forward, move a little bit ahead. And now we are in a very different circumstance. We now have the Pokemon boon. Logan Paul Again, it's Logan Paul, Logan Paul, Logan Paul. He got all his influencer f friends, including himself. Obviously, he's got a big network of the Maverick brand. And they got into Pokemon. They started collecting Pokemon. They started buying and selling Pokemon. And they started creating companies for Pokemon, like Liquid Marketplace. And eventually, they would do like... I think Jake Paul was the one who did like the crypto Pokemon copy lookalike. So eventually, they would make NFTs of similar product to Pokemon. So that was the Pokemon market. Things were going really well. And that was the influencers, right? And the one category that I didn't really find is how come Magic doesn't have any influencers? And the answer is they did. They spent a hundred million dollars on something called the Mythic Player League. You might be like, what is that? A good question, because it does not exist no more. The reason it does not exist anymore is because it was an absolute failure of a product of a group of individuals who had nothing to do except cancel other people like Teresa Nielsen, the artist. None of these people were entertaining. None of these people had subscribers or viewers or any of them. They didn't have nothing. They still don't got nothing. Combined, they have what? Maybe 1% of of someone like Penguin Zeros combined, and there was like 65 of them, right? These, including these special invites who now many of them have jobs at Wizards of the Coast. So congrats on failing upwards, right? I was wondered, okay, so Pokemon got, Pokemon at the time was the number two card game. I know, surprising, very surprising, but with Logan Paul and the team, yeah, it went to the moon, May baby. It actually had a card called Moon Beyond. It went to the moon. And Magic just kind of stuck around. I can tell you, I, I thought Magic was going to go to the moon too. I thought, of course, the Post Malone thing would have took off. And the problem with Post Malone, it's like a one of. It's not like Post Malone got Taylor Swift to play some Magic. Or, you know, he, he, he did his thing, you know, to learn community college and command zone. And so he, he definitely was a great positive to the game. But um, he wasn't, he's not Pay Money Wubby. So Pay Money Wubby is well, he, he knows these other influencers like Meat Canyon and Penguin Zero. Penguin Zero is now making a video with Tolarian. That video will blow up. Probably be one of Tolarian's best videos in terms of views. Things are going really well. We are in the boon. And now we have uh, Assassin's Creed kind of sucks, but everyone knew it would suck. But that blo what Bloomboro, that's going to be a kick-ass set. You know, it, it has the art style that reminds me a lot of Teresa Nielsen, except they're like, instead of like women, they're, you know, like frogs and stuff. So, kind of reminds me a lot of South Park, actually, that episode. If you watch the episode with the frog, the bird, and, you know, it, again, maybe that's what I got their inspiration from. I think Magic is on the right path. I think Magic will be more and more valuable in the future. I think the reserve list, the dual, specifically the dual lands, when these people got to make the EDH decks or tricolor commanders, it's only going to go up. I have no doubt that Magic is um, it's in a much better place than it was before in during COVID. You replaced, uh, you sp so you saved a hundred million dollars. Okay, that's a lot of money. That was how much money they were going to spend on this uh, influencer, the MPL. None of them were interested. None of them gave a damn about Magic. You got, like, they were under contract to stream, I believe, like, either 35 or 40 hours of Magic. One dude out of 
40 something did it. And that dude did it by just napping the whole time on MTG. So they were they they were under contract. Their contract specifically stated you need to stream X amount a week. All everyone but one dude had mental health problems, so they couldn't do it. They felt like it was too much and not even understanding that Wizard of the Coast was spending a hundred million dollars to promote their stupid streams that at most a hundred people watched. I remember that Jessica Epstein person or Epstein, she had literally 90 people at the peak. And that's when she did a co-stream with like Brad Owen. You <laughs> know, so I, I don't know if you guys, if I, if I did a, a Rudy stream, it would get a hundred people like this is, and they were paying a hundred million dollars. And then you compare it to actual influencers with actual fans, with actual viewers and stuff. Like, it's, it just blows them away. It's not even mother effing close. Man, it's not even close. Like, it's so far away from... how It's so far away from what... Gee, I, I mean, I, I... This is people... These are people who have the ability to... They have the ability, right, to find new people who don't play Magic currently and bring them to the game. That's what we needed all along. That's what we've always needed. And we didn't get that from the NPL. We're getting that from Pay Money Wubby and his uh, friends. Uh, they're new people who have never heard of Magic. Never, Maybe they heard about Magic, saw it at Walmart one day, didn't know what it was. Now they know what it was. Their favorite influencer is now promoting it. Um, they're, they're like, oh, that looks cool. That looks like a fun time. It looks like they're having a good time playing the game. And Magic, for all its flaws, I've never said it was not the best mechanical game. You know, I've criticized Magic up and down, up and down, up and down. But I've never said that it doesn't have the best mechanics. Because I believe it does have the best mechanics in the game. I don't think there is a game that has better mechanics than Magic the Gathering. I don't think there's a game that mechanically is better to play with. With the mana source being the mana base. You know, the cards being the Planeswalkers even. I don't love them, but they're creative. The combos being out there. And every card being somewhat playable in somebody's deck. Casual kitchen table included. Magic has always been a very interesting card game for me. I played since I was in kindergarten and played since beta. My first pack was beta. And the uh, first pack I opened, the first rare I opened, I didn't know at the time it was a rare, was Northern Paladin, which is the card that um, Meat Cannon opened. So that was a really great video. Like, I had a blast watching that video. And there's that sheer enjoyment that they have that many of these magic quote content only fans creators don't have. So I mean, come on, they're only fans, right? They found a niche market of magic geeks, right? Who don't have girlfriends or wives, right? So then they just sell their black corn pictures, if you will. They sell their corn pictures to these desperate individuals. And uh, that's Magic the Gathering influencers in a nutshell. Until the actual influencers came along. <laughs> 